Hello, welcome to gagro.net. This is Gagro Live on Facebook. And today we're going to talk about lots of things. Pashinyan kept everybody on their foot. It was very, very busy Sunday. So we're going to talk about the press conference. What is all about the press conference? What they do, whether it's politician or business. We're going to talk about the Grand Park and people are saying there was not enough people, all that stuff. And, um, and many other things we're going to throw you. And also we're going to talk when politicians in power, when you ask them question, how they dance around it. And if they are not in power, how they dance around it. And so we're going to cover all that. And so this things uh, started on Sunday, Sunday 22nd. And this man, Pashinyan, he really, this guy has so much energy. You know, all day he was just talking, you know, except for when some people introduce him, he was doing all the talking. So he has lots of energy. And so uh, it started in Century City. And uh, there was first a private meeting with Armenians. So here it is. I don't know, there was probably more than 50 people. And, and when I was there uh, standing, you know, we had a chance to take some picture because there was no press allowed in there. And uh, I was standing there, I was thinking like an old story where saying too many chief, not Indian. There were so many of those Armenian. I estimated over 50 people there probably was more. So, so that, was, that was the meeting there. Um, and then, uh, uh, so the reason I'm, I'm going to stop here for a minute, talk about this $100, uh, gagrul.net being in, uh, started somewhere around 2004, became active in 2007 after Haran Dink assassination. And we had this website and we had the donation there. Today was the first time we had somebody donated $100 and we are very excited. So we'd like to thank the person who did that. I wish I could publish his name, his picture, if he would allow us, because really we appreciate we never had the donation. So I hope other people will learn and give us some donation. So that was, that was my excitement today about the $100 we got it. And this business is very expensive, and the, uh, the internet, the website, keep up, and the cameras, the microphones, the travel. There's a lots of lots of money goes into this operation. All right, so that's for that. So, so that and uh, about uh, Pashinyan and the press conference. Now about the uh, about the the, the Grand Park. You know, those organizations, Armenian community, the Armenian Consul General, Armen, uh, Ambassador Armen and his staff, and Lily, the one who kept the media up to date, they really did a great job. And also the city of Los Angeles, the Mayor Garcetti, and our own um, Paul Krikorian. And they really did an amazing job. And you know, Los Angeles uh, streets were almost closed. You know, there was so hard to get in and around it. And there's four events in one day. It's just incredibly how those people manage to organize these things. Uh, the, only, uh, the only thing is I'm going to show you. Because some people were saying, you know, there was not enough people. You know, you know people like to make those things. But I'm going to show you, we had two cameras. One was for pushing uh, on the, focusing on uh, the leadership and there, the other one focusing on the people. And here is the one and you look at and you tell me where can you fit more people in this park? Now, I don't know what is the capacity of the park, but when I asked in there, the security people, they told me it's over 10,000 and, but in there, there, were, there was no room. And, uh, and also the drawback in this was the organization, they screwed up or maybe they had some their own reason bringing people there 
for four hours, that scorching heat. Some people even, they were fainting, you know, and it was very hard for all of us. But beside that, here is a little bit what we witnessed. So you could see, where would you put those people? As long, you know, as long as you could see, you know, there were people and they were all cramped with each other, you know. So those people who complain about uh, no people show up things, I think there was capacity, but I don't know what is the capacity of that park or before how many people they put in, but it was packed full and people were very excited and Pashinian were keeping them all excited and happy. So that's what we witness. What do you think? That's a different story. So that's for that. Now, as far as conferences, you know, conferences are place where the politicians want to sell their product. Same thing, no different than Apple called press conference when I sell iPhone. They always like to sell their product, but they bring bring the, uh, the press in there to get their message out. They are not there so that you uh, question them. You know, they sort of don't like that. They, so they dance around it, dance around it, sell the product uh, where they are there. That's what this conference, uh, the press conference are. I personally don't like it. You know, I go there sometime, but I don't like it because you don't have uh, time, chance to ask too many questions. For example, <clears throat> this press conference, there was, I don't know, 20 people, more journalists. There is some, uh, there were a pack of the people there. And uh, um, in myself, I asked uh, about two minute question. I mean, I wanted to ask more question, but they just don't let you. And uh, two minute, and the answer was like 12 minutes. So if you take 14 minutes, you divide in one hour, not too many people will have chance to ask the question. In fact, I believe somebody in the back from us parties was complaining, says, you know, we're the largest organization. You didn't ask, give us a chance, stuff like that. But that's, that's what the press is. You really don't have chance to ask questions. And the politicians love to dance around the questions always. And so I'll show you, um, in English version of uh, when asked question and what he answered. You see, I always ask these things in a business term like products, you know, uh, because you know this, uh, all these politicians is really their selling product. Like Trump, right? Make America great again. Pashinyan, Kyle R. Merji Sergin, all those are product. But it's this politician product, this is like Apple selling iPhone. It's no different. And that's why I always ask in terms of product, you know. And But here is uh, when I ask the same question, I mean, I ask more question. this lady, Naira Zohrabian, is a member of parliament and she's opposition leader, opposition member of Prosperous Armenia. When I ask him the same question that I asked Pashinyan, I want you to hear what she said when I asked her before we go to Pashinyan. Here she is. Okay, yetek Pashinyanin asmek darvamech nishta ziron shat keshi tas shat lavi inch nishkutas. Ais pahi derutsam hing. Այո, այս պահի դրությամբ 5, որով հետև ցավոք սրտի հեղափոխությունից 1 տարի հետո 5, որով հետև ցավոք սրտի հանրությունը չի տեսնում դեր եւս այն ռեալ քայլերը, որը պիտի անի իշխանությունը ժողովրդի կյանքը կենսամակարդակը բարձրացնելու համար։ Գրնաս Փաշինյանին, ասենք Փաշինյանը, ասենք թե իրեն 8 նիշտ տաս, բայց իրեն 
կարողական եթե այդ բանով են գնում ապա այստեղ այդ տասը բալանոց համակարգի մեջ փաշինյանին պետք է տալ 8 իսկ իր ուրեմը կադրերին պետք է տալ 0-ից միջև 3 0-ից 3 եւ այո այդ կադրեր so there you go. Direct, he, she answered it, you know. But before I, I show you Pashinyan, Pashinyan answers, and of course, we all want to ask, ask lots of questions. I mean, I had tons of questions. But uh, when I ask about the same question, and you're gonna see what is answered, he just danced around it, he didn't give me the answer. And, and I think he should have, said like you know we are new where we make some mistakes and uh so we're improving so i give them a chance so he could talk about that but he just danced around it he didn't answer that question he answered the second question sort of but but this is what politicians do they just dance around the questions they and so so anyway so so you could see it now and you be the judge and of course <clears throat> On the second question, I agree with them, like people are uh, underestimating the Armenian people because he said in, in Armenian, I'm just explaining in English, he said that I took a step, yes, Kaila Ritsi, and Armenian people did the same thing. They came with 10, 50, 100, 5,000, and all Armenian took that step, come in there. So people who um, saying this is NATO, this is uh, Soros, I think is a little bit insulting to Armenia. I think that he was right in there. But he, I didn't like when he danced about my question. And the third question, I, I wanted to ask him in a military term, but I was trying to say, you know, not saying, okay, you have too much Indian, but you don't have chiefs. You know, I said, you know, you have too much soldiers, but you don't have general. And I said to him, this is an economic and administra administration thing because when I was in Yerevan, I was asking all the intellectuals. They were saying Pashinyan is running the government on his soldiers. He does not have anyone with credibility. If there is uh, the, the mining things or there is uh, the Istanbul Convention, Pashinyan is there fighting the fire. There is nobody else to fight this fire. And so that was my my point I was trying to make, but I put it in a military term that you have too much soldiers, you don't have general to uh, design and and act. So so let's, without delay, let's go to the question, uh, see what Pashinyan will say. Mr. Pashinyan. Welcome to California. You probably don't know me. My name is Wally Sarkisian. I'm with gagroll.net. You took on this revolution. You, you design it, you plan it. You uh, successfully uh, implement it. But I don't think any American corporation with $1 billion marketing budget could have sold a product in two weeks. You did it. And your product was called Kyle R. Mergis Sarjin. And you told them this is a defective product we need to recall. And, and the people of Armenia did. But now things are not good. You can't sell too much stuff nowadays. Uh, I'm wondering why. Because I was in June in, uh, in Yerevan, one month, two weeks, and I talked to member of parliaments, opposition parties, actors and actors, I um, mean, actor and actresses, uh, journalists, every sector. I ask them simple question I'm asking you too. Well, actually, I have two questions. You, as a citizen of Republic of Armenia, how would you mark 
Washington government progress. Zero being bad, hundred, uh, 10 being good. Second question is, in fact, I was one of your number one supporter, gagrule.net, when you were doing your revolution. The conspiracy theorists, from the day one, they were accusing you that you are Soros man. I'm sure you heard this, that you, uh, this revolution was Soros revolution, and you could see this in the social media everywhere. Have you ever met so Soros? Do you know this guy? And also, one other thing is, you, yeah, that's it, uh, with the last one. one. Just one last one. Um, you have lots of soldiers, but you don't have generals. I'm talking about economy and administration. You need to bring some smart people in. Thank you, Mr. Pashin. Forum, forum, Yes, <laughs> Pesvur <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Hajo, 
you didn't you didn't give me the mark uh, zero, zero, zero ten uh, i need your mark All right, so there, there you go. It's, uh, you heard it in Armenian, and uh, that was the conference. And so um, it was good, and he answered lots of stuff. So he, some of them he danced around it, uh, but 
but that's poli that's how politicians do those things you know it's uh it's great so so then uh, <clears throat> i thought this man is coming from there from in press we have to get them some gift or something so i know pagina does revolution great I don't know how about the economy stuff like that. We have to wait and see. And I know he is he in love with uh, selfies, take his selfie pictures. And I know he like cups, uh, baseball cups. So I bought them the selfie, the, the that little thing which it extends. You put your cell phone on it, and I and I give them gag rule hat. So. Those sort of things. I didn't give them in advance so that people don't say, ah, oh, you give them, that's why he asked ask question. So, but I thank Mr. Pashinia for coming to Los Angeles. I thank the Armenian organization. I thank uh, Ambassador Armin and the staff and all the people and the city and our man, Paul Krikorian, he's, he's an amazing guy. And everything would run perfectly and done except for that heat things perfect i think they did great job whatever you think that's up to you but whatever i witness the job done well and thank you for watching we'll see you in another episode